Hi everyone! This week we're going to be drawing a picture inspired by the book If the Dinosaurs Came Back. We're going to start our artwork this week and finish it up next week. So let's get started. What you're going to need for this art lesson is a piece of paper and a black marker or crayon. Now if you don't have a black marker or crayon at home, it's okay, you could always use a pen or a pencil. So to get started, what we're going to do is draw a cityscape. The first step is to draw the street. So I'm getting my magic finger out and just practicing a nice long horizontal line from one side of my paper to the other, starting on the left side, going to the right. Once I'm confident with my line that I'm going to make, that I've practiced with my magic finger, I'm going in with my black marker and I'm just going to make that horizontal line. This is going to be the street part of our city. Now if your line isn't perfectly straight, don't worry, that is okay. Just do your best. It's time to start building our city. Cities usually have lots of really big and tall buildings with lots of windows. This is an example of a cityscape. Do you see all of those buildings? Do they all look the same? No, they don't. There's a variety of different kinds of buildings here. Some are tall, some are really short, some have rounded roofs, some have triangle shaped roofs. So they're all different. So when we design our cityscape, we're going to keep this in mind. Let's start by drawing our first building. Now I'm going to start on the left side of my paper and I'm going to choose how tall I want my building to be. And then I'm just going to draw a horizontal line just like that. And now a vertical line down to meet the ground or the street line that we drew before. So slowly drawing my line all the way down. Okay, so there's my first building. It is a rectangle shape. Now for my next building, I can make it really short. I can make it the same height as my first building. I can make it really, really tall going off the top of my paper. So I'm just practicing with my magic finger a few different options here. I'm making my next building a little bit shorter and a little bit more narrow or thin than my first building. So now I have two rectangle shaped buildings. I think for this next one, I'm going to make it really tall and it's going to be extended off of the edge of my paper. So I'm not going to draw the top. I'm just going to draw one line up and one line down. Vertical straight lines. Do your best to make them as straight as you can. Now boys and girls, you don't have to draw the exact same buildings that I'm drawing. Maybe your next building is really, really short when mine is really tall. So be creative and design your own city. Just make sure that you are including a variety of different sizes of buildings. Some short and some tall. Now on the top of this building, I am going to draw a shape. That is, hmm, what shape is that? Aha, it is a triangle shape. So some buildings might have shapes on top of them. This one has a triangular roof. My next two buildings, I'm just going to draw some simple rectangle shapes, making sure that I'm including a variety of different sizes here. So this one's gonna be a little taller than the last one. Now, if you want to get fancy, we could draw a building behind some of our short buildings. So find some of the shorter buildings in your picture and just draw another shape behind them. So now I drew this rectangle shape behind my two shorter buildings and it looks like that building is behind the other two in the front. So we have some overlapping going on in our artwork. Overlapping is when something looks like it is in front of something else in your artwork. Our buildings are missing something. Hmm. Our buildings are missing windows and doors and other details that belong on buildings. So I'm going to just go ahead and start on the left building, that first building that I drew, and I'm going to draw some windows. Now I'm drawing square shaped windows here on this building. And I'm just going to continue all over this building. But I think I'm 
going to switch it up. Do all windows have to be the same? No, no way. You can include a variety of different windows on your buildings, and you can even have different windows on the same buildings. Remember, this is your city, so you get to design it how you would like. I'm now going to draw a little door so that people can get in and out of that building. Now on each of my buildings, I'm just going to draw different windows in different shapes. On this building, I'm drawing these half circle shapes. It's almost like a rainbow with a little line underneath it. And remember, if you don't want to include these window shapes in your drawing, that's okay. Design your own windows. Maybe you have heart-shaped windows. Maybe you have really long rectangular windows. It's up to you. Just make sure that you include windows on each of your buildings. I'm going to keep drawing my windows and doors and any other details I want to add to my buildings, and I'll catch up with you soon. By the way, boys and girls, please do not color this artwork in. We're going to leave them black and white, just like this, because we want to create contrast in our artwork. We'll talk more about contrast next week, but I just wanted to remind you to leave these how they are when you're done. Do not add color. Thanks so much. Okay, I'm all done adding windows and doors to my buildings. Now it's time to get creative. I'm going to add some more details to some of my buildings. On the building with my triangular roof, I decided to add some texture to make it look like this roof has shingles. And I'm doing this by just drawing the letter U over and over again. This will make my roof look like it has a nice bumpy texture. Now on this roof, hmm, there's a lot of room for opportunity up here, so I think I'm going to build a little balcony. So I'm just drawing a horizontal line and then lots of vertical lines to make it look like it's a little railing. You can add whatever you want to the top of your buildings. I'm just adding balconies and textures to some of my roofs. I just added one of those little blinking lights that you sometimes see on the top of really tall skyscraper buildings. And maybe if you want to get really creative and you have some bigger windows, maybe you could show people. I'm drawing a little guy in here with a little hat on, just waving from the window. He just so happens to be looking out at the street. So if you want, go for it. Add some people in your windows or some other details. I'm adding more details to the top of each window so that they look decorative or fancy. And some lines through my round windows just to make them have more detail. So I recommend going into your buildings and just adding some more details if you would like. And this can help to make your artwork look more complete and more interesting. So let's chat about our street real quick. Now on my street, I'm going to add little dashed lines to show that there are two different lanes in which cars drive on the road. If you would like, you can draw cars on your street. You can draw maybe people bicycling or skateboarding or rollerblading, it's up to you. I'm just going to leave my, str my street nice and simple with these little dashed lines just by drawing these really long and skinny mini rectangle shapes. Now next week we are going to be adding a dinosaur into our picture here. Um, and our dinosaur is going to be walking on our street. So keep that in mind when you draw things on your street. You don't want your dinosaur squishing cars and bicyclists. Okay, so I've drawn the little dashed lines in my street. And I think I'm done. Now, if I wanted, I could always go back in and add more detail to my windows, to my doors, or to other parts of my buildings. Remember, boys and girls, I want you to be creative with your cityscape. So if you wanted to add more designs, go for it. But please don't color these in. Again, leave them black and white. 
I know it's hard not to color them in, but trust me, next week it will pay off. Okay everyone, I hope you have fun drawing and designing your own cityscape. Remember to keep your pictures safe because next week we're going to be adding more to these. Have fun!